Welcome back. We're going to again attempt to beat a bird at the game of Shogi. So this is the level 19 1Q bot. We'll try to beat it best of three uh, with a choice between 1 minute or 10 second Bioyomi. Let's just play 10 second Shogi and see how it pans out, shall we? Toggle shake peace. Good luck. And see whether or not we can uh, play against a bird. Or perhaps the bird is too much for us. Alright, let's close this diagonal. Alright. Let's put the rook over here. If they can move their king, I can move my king. Um, let's push this edge pawn. Okay, and let's do this. And I'm not totally sure what to do next here. Is the bird going to build the invincible Anaguma castle? I hope not. <laughs> the bird might have done, might be doing that though. Um, okay. Let's play this up. Interesting. So I can't I want to push this pawn, but there's some risk involved there. There it is, badger in the hole. Uh, let's play this to defend my pawn, although I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. Let's take this. Well, that's just a free pawn. Um, that's the bird teasing me. Yeah, no, there was no need for it to just give me a free pawn like this. So let me exchange, extend the range of my rook. Um, and continue extending the range of said rook. Should have brought up the silver instead of using a pawn. Don't know what I was thinking. I played the first move that came to mind. Oh. I knew that. <sighs> well... Okay. We're being outsmarted by a bird, guys. Let's do it. This is safe, right? Perfectly safe. Alright, let's just take this. This would be a lot safer. I don't know, if I played something else. Okay, now the bird attacks the head of my castle. I retreat. It continues taking all of my pieces and teasing me. Um, let's use the bishop to defend this way. I'm not sure how successful this attempt will be. Uh, that's weird. Am I mated? I don't see a mate. He has another rook? Where did that come from? Hmm. 
Hmm. I seem to have some difficulties here. All right, so it's going to sacrifice its bishop. It does. Um, it has two gold generals in hand. That's not good. All right, I'll just keep running. Um, let's attack the knight. Oh, that's mate in one. Nicely spotted. All right, we've been defeated yet again by a bird. All right, well played. Let's play again. All right, so again, they push the Rook Pawn. I can push this here, right? I don't recall how all this goes. Is this how we play the bishop exchange shape? I don't remember. Be good if I could remember. And then we go this way. And just keep going. When the bot's comment ends in dot dot dot, you're probably in good shape. Noted. Hmm. I don't know how to play this. I thought this was fine. Because I could trap said... Oh! Right. Okay. Yeah, that's a concern. I don't know what to do about it. Alright, so... I'm probably losing multiple pieces here. Um... Use this. Try to bring the rook back out through this file while my edge breaks in half. Um, I don't know. Something like this? And the idea would be that if the silver moves, I can take a lance. Um, oh, well, okay, yes, that is legal. All right. Um, all right, we'll just give up my edge just for fun. And interest. And by that, I mean curiosity. All right, so yep, they attack next to my king. I use my horse to attack. They defend. All right, let's collect this knight. I check my king. I just run away. Um, 
think this is playable. I don't understand that. That's a promotion. So this activates my knight. Oh, so that sacrifices my knight. Um, so take back. Uh oh. Right, we hit the silver. Um, is that? Wait, what? Oh, they dropped this there. Um, we block this check. They block my attack on a silver. Uh, I again try to win this knight. Um, I again protect my horse. What? I have to take this now. Okay. And then this is a free piece. <sighs> this alternates between playing very strong positional moves and confusing tactical things. Um, I don't know. Oh, I had a knight. I could have dropped a knight. That would have been smart. I am in check. That king is going to escape my attack, isn't it? Oh! Oh, jeepers. Uh, well played, bot. Uh, my attack expires. Uh, it's, I don't have an attack. Wow. Okay, I have to run this way, I think. Um, and we take here, and we're going to check again, and the best I can do is run, and I have another lance, it blocks my lance, that's okay, I've got another another lance. I can continue this. Uh, that's less okay. <sighs> okay, well, this sucks. I don't know what to do about this. But the bird's taking all of my pieces. Bird is taking all of my pieces. There. I got to take a piece. No, you don't get away from this so easily. Um, I don't know. I can't lure the bot into this net. I'm guessing that doesn't work either. Hmm. 
doesn't do anything. Alright, fine, you get my rook. I wasn't using it anyway. Okay, you win. Uh, however, I resign. I hit the resign button. Okay, that's not the resign button. One second left. Sure. Okay, yeah. We resign somehow. I don't know. There's a resign button here somewhere. Maybe this one? Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's the tell button. All right. So we got beaten by a bird. But it's best two or three. You know, we've only lost two. We can still win this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, whatever this says. Sure. All right. Was I supposed to move first? I think I was supposed to move first. All right. Whatever. I didn't move. Uh, sure. Okay. I was Santa there. Ah. Uh, yeah. So Santa is supposed to move first. This bird always gets to move first, so I was just confused. Hmm. I've also had a game where the bird just didn't move. Um, but okay, so we lost three games in a row, but that's okay, we can still win this. Um, we might not be able to win this. Okay, what's that? Oh! That is a nice attack. That's what that is. Uh, let's pull the king into this bishop's diagonal just for fun. And pretend everything's okay. Um, I was thinking this was going to be okay somehow. It's not. Here, let's play a tactic. Alright, so you've taken my pieces, but I'll take your piece. Alright, I am in check. Um, sure. Let's make things fun. Okay, let's promote here. They got my bishop. When did that happen? <laughs> oh no. Alright. Um, that is quite the resourceful defense there. And now I don't have a pawn in hand. I thought I had two pawns. Alright, we're going to take the bishop. Now we've got a bishop in hand. Nah, you win this. You got this. I'm mad. We're playing another one. We don't stop there. It's best of three. We can still take this. Castle our king to the right. Uh, let's 
play this up. This looks fun. Okay. Um, sure, why not? Let's build a castle. And then push this edge. Drop the rook back, as one tends to do with central file rook. Push this up. So I've not played any of this correctly, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just shuffling pieces at this point. Losing to a bird is a little bit demoralizing, although it's cute. Like, if I could pick any animal to lose to, it'd probably be a bird. Um. Wait, really? What is this? This is a generous bird we have here. Okay. I defend my king? Oh, goodness. I don't know if it's... Good or bad for morale, the, the bird that just gave me that pawn for nothing in the opening is eventually going to put up one hell of a fight later in the game. Not sure if that's good or bad for my morale. Um, I wonder if it's dynamically adapting in any way, based on our previous play experience, i.e. me losing over and over. Is this bird in any way compensating for my level of play? I suspect not. That would have been too difficult to implement, and it's not in the spirit of what the UI sets forward to do anyway. So why would they do it? Well, one reason to do it is just so you have a really happy player base. Um, wait, can I not take this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When the bird starts sacking things, you've got to start wondering what's going on. Um, sure. Oh, fuck. That was not the right square. I didn't see that the knight could take it. So now the bird has a knight in hand. Uh, which is probably bad news for me. I just blocked my position. Unwittingly. Alright, bird's gonna win my stuff. Now let's promote. We are in check, and the bird has silver and other pieces. Here, let's get this silver allured away from the... No? Can't persuade this bird to do a damn thing. <laughs> it is stubborn. When this bird is insistent that it's correct, boy is it insistent. Okay, I can try to take the rook file here, 
Wait, oh, okay, that's a legit fork. Wait, um, all right, I have to run, and I am extremely dead. But I did take this file. Nobody can say I failed to take that file. All right. So, yeah, best of three. Seems like we didn't win this. This bird's a tough opponent. Ten-second shogi might not be for me. Um, but, you know, i give it a good fight. Maybe next time I'll fare better. Who knows? Uh, yeah. It is irritating just how accurate the bird reacts to my move. How accurately. Like, when I drop a pawn up there, it just completely ignores it instead of taking this. Like, there's no mind games I can play against this spot. I just have to play good moves. Um, against human opponents, I can sometimes persuade them that I'm threatening something. But here, I attack the rook, and it just checkmates me. So, yeah, there's definitely not much room for mind games against such an opponent. Yeah, it's not a dumb bot. You might encounter dumb bots in other board games, or even in this board game. You might find some dumb bots out there, but this it's a good opponent. So, yeah, that's the 1Q challenge, playing against the 990 rated bot. And yeah, so far I've not passed it. Uh, it does make inaccuracies, so like we saw it gave away a free pawn. It'll make things that, like, the inaccuracies it makes in some way a little bit tilt me, because I know a human would never make certain. <sighs> if you're going to play something that provokes your opponent so much, you usually put at least a little bit of effort into making sure that it's a good move. Um... But no, like other bots, like chess bots in decades past, uh, this one will sometimes just throw a piece in a position where you'd never ever expect a human to have thrown that. Um, or it'll play other inaccuracies, but on the whole, it's much more solid than it looks. So it's a tough opponent. Someday we'll beat it. Someday. It's a good sparring partner. But it's probably better that I play it in slower games. I might be more incentivized to do that if these pieces, etc., were easier to work with. Um, it's a good site, but there's still room for improvement. It's a really good AI, though, so that's why we put up with the site. It's a fun site. So yeah, this is P.O. Shogi by Studio K. Um, yeah, if you want, it's out there, it's free to play against, Free, feel free to enjoy it.